Don't do shit like this. It's annoying and no one likes it. And they might get fed up and just start torching your NPCs. Which I guess is what you want. I don't know. I, I, I've i never been a fan of this. I've never been a fan of the it's difficult because you don't get to save thing. Because that's, that's dumb. It's not actually difficult. It's not like I can't do the level. It's just that you won't let me succeed at it. Because you keep killing me without save points. And it doesn't... It just feels cheap, and I don't like it. It doesn't feel like I've actually been challenged, or that I accomplished anything in the times I reloaded. It's not like, oh, I got better at the game. I didn't get better at the game. There's no way in hell I got better at the game just by doing this. I haven't had save terminal in a very long time, and that's not... that's not nice. Okay, survived into this area. I'm gonna guess this is also one of those ones that, yeah. Are you kidding me? So the thing tells me you may have to run through the lava river several times to get used to it. To which I say, fuck that. Alright! Alright! Marathon! You can fuck off! So, I, uh, I think I turned on sheets, but I'm not quite sure how, because I just found a super jump button. It's, uh, it's the tilde key. It, uh, jumps. I'm not even certain where this came from, but it does. <laughs> Fucking lets me fly. I'm not sure if that's because I turned sheets on, or because of something else, but I did, so... Yeah...
Okay, that does do what I think it thought it did. So, that's the lava maze I didn't like. Um... This is dumb. That was extremely dumb. Incoming message from Lilo. The final four attack is falling apart all over the ship. Small groups of armed aliens have surrendered to defenseless civilians in several areas, and the several areas, and the end is inevitable. The fight is over and must soon, soon turn to restoration. There is surprisingly good news from Planet Side. Nine military Mjolnir Mark IV cyborgs cyborgs were covertly living among the colonists and acting together they were able to single-handedly turn back the latter stages of the four assault casualties on the colony were nowhere near as high as those we experienced here on the marathon i'm disturbed by how easily the cyborgs were secretly assimilated into our midst and believe that this event predates the marathon's launch from mars 300 years ago actually there's a terminal that says that well the results were unquestionably for the best their presence on the marathon could only have been to further wicked ends. I'm certain the real answer lies somewhere in the tumultuous backstabbing politics of Seoul during the early 24th century. I've noticed that Durndal's records from this early pre-launch period are missing, but, there's, but that their deletion occurred externally and before Durndal became rampant. I do not believe Durndal himself brought the cyborgs on board, and I, have, I've, and I have other evidence that a human operator was influencing Durndal up until the time the marathon was launched. There are obviously many things which we do not understand and may never be able to. The four ship vanished about 20 minutes ago, after venting nearly a thousand four bodies and other refuse. I am positive that Durandal is in control and fear that he what he might do with such a powerful ship during the jealous stage of rampancy. We win? Alright. Technically, I just bypassed the, the end of the game. Technically. Which means, uh, that's the end of, uh, of Marathon. Um, yeah, yeah, that was, that was an ending. That was an ending. That was a different ending than, than we got with, uh, with our last Let's Play. Um, involved me getting very annoyed and finding a super jump button. But hey, it's a let's play, as in let's play this. Um, I don't know if that was because of cheats.lua or not. Um, I don't know. It, uh, it, it solved me from having to do some stuff I didn't want to do because fuck that. Seriously. That, that was, that was not, that was, yeah. Woo. Um. Yeah, so yeah, this is Let's Play Marathon. Um, from here, not sure what I'm going to do. Probably more Let's Plays. Uh, might go on to Marathon 2. Uh, might not. Might take a break from Marathon for a bit. Uh, might go on to uh, Half-Life. Back to Half-Life. We've got a posing force waiting for us. Although I'm not certain I feel like that. I might look into other things. I've been recording more uh, New Vegas with my mom, so that's a thing. Um, me and my dad have actually been talking about doing some Serious Sam, so that could be cool. And yeah. Yeah, yeah. This was, this is, this has been Zap Dragon. Um, oh, oh, last time. Last time I talked about the game, actually. Uh, about the game, about the game, Marathon, one of my favorite shooters ever, although I forgot about the ending. Like, there's there's some obnoxious portions, there's some portions that bug me, there's some portions that piss me off, but, but, for the most part, they're fine. That, that ending run through a lava river, though, was just... I gotta say that was that's one of the most obnoxious endings I've ever played. I don't know if I ever actually beat that. Um, I, maybe I never beat the game because of that lava river. Uh, again, so that terminal that was a trap. Not sure what that was. Um, 
not sure what that was. Nothing mentioned anything about a horde of enemies that instantly kill you or getting dropped in lava. That was that was a surprise. But we'll uh, we'll deal with that. Um, don't really don't really feel like going through and doing that. Um, there's not much music here. I, I feel like I might put some music in in post. But anyway, uh, great game. Like honestly, I was having a blast. There there's a few segments towards the end especially that like I said with the, with the um, lava river and a few other things that were really annoying and you you heard my rant about how you need more save points like I know it's supposed to be the end but it, it was just to the point of me not enjoying myself anymore and it didn't really feel like anything was being accomplished beyond a giant waste of my time and two of those were because I was going for a secret admittedly um, but that lava river, holy shit. I didn't even have enough health to get through there and I had no actual way of accessing it. Um, that was, that not accessing, no way of accessing health. Sorry, I, I've been rambling and frustrated so I'm, I'm not certain quite what's happening. Um, not quite what's happening, quite what I'm saying. God, uh, but great, it's a great game. There's all kinds of finicky, goofy stuff, weird things. It's, it's, it's really one of a kind, honestly. It's got quirks out, uh, freaking out the window, except not the window, because it was originally a Mac game. Um, and I played the original version on Mac. Well, technically, I played it in the Mac action side. Not the original version, but it, we're talking base marathon, vanilla, I believe. Maybe there were some updates to the action sack, I don't know. But that, that was without a mouse. Um, I, yeah, well, more to the point, that was by default without a mouse, you could add a mouse. Because that was, that was Marathon's thing, you could add a mouse. That was one of the big deals about it back in the day. Um, oh, so at the beginning of the series, when I was editing it, I uh, realized I'd said something that this was Marathon's first big game before Halo. This is untrue. I also think I said series or something? Um, somewhere down the line I like correct myself saying it was the first big game series because apparently I forgot Myth 2 existed. Um, because I'm dumb. But yeah, Myth games are a thing. I never actually played Myth. Um, I should play Myth. Maybe, maybe we'll do a Let's Play of Myth somewhere along the lines. That would be fun. Um, Actually, playing old Bungie games might just be something I do. Um, I'd like I'd like to find a way to play Abuse. That that is a strange title for what is actually not as bad as it sounds. Um, no, excuse me. No real plans to play path. Uh, no real plans to play Pathways into Darkness. That game is a interesting one. It's very hard and. I've got very little experience with it, actually. I've never beaten it, I don't think. It's been a very long time since I played it anyway, because it was in the action sack. Uh, I, I'm getting back on other games, but back to this game. Weapons are fun, game is fun, enemies are fun. Those tanks! I forgot the tanks existed. Holy shit. Um, levels are fun, although some of them are just bizarre and frustrating. Um, it's very much a rough around the edges product. This this is this is why I think Marathon 2 is better than one because it, it definitely did go in with more experience. Cause that 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 some of the stuff in there was just unbelievably frustrating. So yeah, yeah, Marathon 2 is better, and then there's Infinity, which I don't even know how to describe. Like, I think it was hard than to the plot of it though just kind of overwhelms any sense of what the fuck is happening so yeah yeah oh hey we, we've got a we've got a uh, epilogue for 17 years the renegade force scout ship jumped between the closely packed stars of the galactic core charting and discovering nearly 7,000 systems before finally falling into a slow orbit around the second planet of a dim star 97 light years from the gravitational center of the milky way 
Probes were constructed and launched with engines and instruments whose sophistication would have astounded both the four from whom technology had been stolen and the human programmers of the eyes whose mad genius had directed their fabrication. The outlier, outlines of their contents were, the outlines of continents were mapped, and along them the radioactive ruins of ancient cities were discovered, buried under the shifting sand and rock of the global desert. The tireless, nearly immortal cybernetic crew of the ship were the genetically engineered descendants of the dead world below, the first of their race in a thousand years to return to their ancestral home. They came to search through the devastation of the ancient war in which they had been enslaved to find a weapon of some or some piece of knowledge which they could fight back with which they could fight back against their oppressors all over the ship dancing through the wreckage of four of the four computer core durandal was laughing there we go epilogue over my talk over i don't feel like i need to say as much about this as um half-life um yeah, with that, I will call it, uh, call it something. I, I will bid you farewell until the next Let's Play, which will be probably going up tomorrow. Whatever's going up tomorrow in this case may be, because I don't edit these in any way close to when they go up. So, what goes up tomorrow? Well, that's, that's the thing for Jesus Christ. This, this recording session has been long, and I'm just rambling on. Um, yeah, bye, bye, tomorrow, whatever goes up. Ah.